Rescuers raced against time on Tuesday in search of a missing submersible carrying five people on a mission to document the wreckage of the Titanic, the iconic ocean liner that sank more than a century ago. The United States Coast Guard is leading the search for the small craft, named Titan, in the remote North Atlantic Ocean, where the Titanic struck an iceberg and sank in 1912, killing all but about 700 of the roughly 2,200 passengers and crew. Ocean Gate Expeditions, a company based in the U.S. state of Washington that deploys crewed submersibles for deep sea expeditions, said that its vessel was the subject of the rescue operation. Here's what we know so far. When and where did the Titan go missing? The search is being conducted approximately 1,450 kilometers, 900 miles east of the Cape Cod Peninsula, in a water depth of roughly 3,900 meters, 12,800 feet, according to the U.S. Coast Guard. The Titan began its journey on Sunday morning, and its support vessel, the Polar Prince, lost contact with it about an hour and 45 minutes later. U.S. and Canadian rescue ships and planes have swarmed the search area, and some have dropped sauna buoys that can monitor to a depth of 3,900 meters, 12,800 feet. Unlike submarines that leave and return to port under their own power, submersibles require a ship to launch and recover them. The Titan was launched from the Polar Prince, an icebreaker hired by OceanGate, that ferries people and the submersible craft to the North Atlantic wreck site where multiple dives have been conducted. The Titan has a 96-hour oxygen supply, David Concanon, an advisor to OceanGate, told the Associated Press on Monday. What kind of deep-sea vessel was it? The Titan is capable of diving 4,000 meters, 13,120 feet, with a comfortable safety margin according to documents filed by the company in April with a U.S. District Court in Virginia that oversees Titanic matters. The Titan is made of titanium and filament wound carbon fiber and has proven to withstand the enormous pressures of the deep ocean according to OceanGate. In a May 2021 court filing, OceanGate said the Titan had an unparalleled safety feature that assesses the integrity of the hull throughout every dive. The Titan had undergone more than 50 test dives, including to the equivalent depth of the Titanic in deep waters off the Bahamas, the company said. Titan is sure to usher in a new era of exploration by providing access to 50% of the ocean for direct human observation, the company said on its website. During its 2022 expedition, OceanGate reported that the submersible had a battery issue on its first dive and had to be manually attached to its lifting platform, according to a November court filing. What was the Titan's mission? The goal of OceanGate's expeditions has been to chronicle the Titanic's deterioration as well as the underwater ecosystem that shipwrecks often spawn. What is left of the Titanic is slowly succumbing to metal-eating bacteria that consumes hundreds of kilograms of iron each day. Some have predicted the, the wreck of the Titanic could vanish in a matter of decades. OceanGate outfitted the Titan with high-definition cameras and multi-beam sonar equipment. Charting the wreck's decomposition can help scientists predict the fate of other deep-sea wrecks. The ocean is taking this thing, and we need to document it before it all disappears or becomes unrecognizable. Stockton Rush, president of OceanGate Expeditions, told the AP in 2021.